I don't know why it's been going on here, but this, if you're not hurt, like if your hamstring ain't falling off the fucking bone, your leg ain't broke, I don't know, like you should be fucking practicing, like straight up, like that shit is weakness, and that shit is contagious as fuck, and that shit ain't gonna be in this room, bro, that shit been here in the past, and that's why the past has been like it is, bro. That shit is over with here, bruh. If you can fucking practice, fucking practice. You can't get no better. Ain't nobody gonna get better by being on the fucking sideline if you ain't fucking hurt. If you're not fucking hurt, you gotta fucking practice. Because you make other motherfuckers work even fucking harder. Now they have more fucking risk of getting hurt because you don't want fucking practice. Because you being a bitch. Straight up, man, that shit is fucking real, bruh. That shit ain't happening here. I'm just letting y'all niggas know that shit not fucking happening here. I'm hurting, I'm tired just like every fucking body in this motherfucker. But I ain't taking no motherfucking days off because I can't be fucking great that way. That gotta be the fucking attitude and the mentality all the fucking time. All that weak shit don't fucking live here no more. That shit don't exist. It's contagious, bro. Like it's really fucking contagious. Do what I do how I wanna Look how I fuck up the summer In the middle of the storm like I'm thunder I go on the track like a runner Get the fuck out of here with the drama Come back when you got you some commas Solve it, one of my problems I told you I got it, I got him I hunted my nigga like dollars I told you I got it, no problem Pull up and I leave with a model Then that bitch, that bitch off like an auction No tiger, I'm Tony like Collins Game play, I'm running an option Game day, I got some new sponsors Same day, top five on the roster Surf on the turf like a lobster OG stats like a monster We go back since toddlers Beat a nigga up for a starter Pizza man come, we rob him Little brother can't leave a starter Hot boy bitch, I'm scarred I think it's every childhood dream that anybody that played football for sure is to go in the first round As a kid, I, I sacrificed everything 13, 12, 13 years old I'll leave out the house and Run up and down the levee, up and down the levee, up and down the levee. I just always believed that, you know, uh, the cream rises to the top. We felt as if he was the best receiver in the entire draft. I remember draft night. Um, I didn't go to the draft. I stayed home with my family, and my agent telling me I'd go anywhere from 16 to 32. And pick 31, pick 32, and nothing. I remember going back to my room that night and just crying. I don't know, like, that goes that for me. The next morning he got up and we went and, and it, it just got, it got horrible for us. 33, 34, 35, 36. Then we're in the 40s, now we're in the 50s. And I'm, you know, really feeling embarrassed because my family is here for the second day in a row and it doesn't seem like, you know, I'm gonna be drafted anywhere. I started crying because I seen him cry. About five, ten minutes later, getting a call from Florida, and it was Miami. You know, we're honored to let you know that, you know, we're going to select you at the 63rd pick. I mean, it was just a moment that we shared, that we cried on each other's shoulders. Because I, I felt like when my brother got drafted, I felt I got drafted as well, because we knew life was about to change, not only for us, but for our family as a whole. We was gonna be able to expose them to things that we never saw when we was kids. To have an opportunity to take care of my mom. You know, I have a daughter now, so, you know, take care of my family um, as well, my brother, uh, my aunts. To, to change life for my family um, is the reason why we all do what we do. I played four years on my contract, um, and you know, now I'm, I've put myself in position to take care of my family for the rest of my life. You know, the team decides to exercise, you know, the franchise tag, considering not playing on it. 
franchise tag is not a good deal for me. I, 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 in my case, I played four years, you know, um, then you get another year basically of not signing me to a long-term deal. So in that year, anything can happen. You know, you look at guys like Ryan Shazier who may not have an opportunity to play again. You know, he's fighting a battle to just walk again. I'm at the point where, you know, taking care of my family and um, it's the most important to me. And I put my body on the line for, for years. I sacrificed my time, I sacrificed my life, you know, to make sure that I have this opportunity. Thank the Lord that I install in them that, you know, if you want something out of life, you gotta go and get it. Nobody's not gonna give you nothing. He beat, beat the odds. Single private home, small country town, not many resources in our town. Uh, then you go to college, they say that you're undersized, that you're slow. You go out, you produce in the SEC, get drafted. It's dominating the game of football. <laughs>